Bellator returned last night with the goal of finding their next middleweight champion. The 10 fight card went down at the Moke and Sun Arena in Uncasville, Connecticut, USA, and MMA on the go has the results. Cody Law defeated Orlando Ortega via submission dart choke. Law won his pro MMA debut on the prelims, stopping Orlando Ortega within round number one with a dart choke. The submission came only moments after Law scored a takedown. Law came into the fight with a five fight undefeated record as an amateur as well as a background in NCAA wrestling. I think he overthrew something, I ended up behind him. Um, and then once I'm there, it's like, it's, it's resting for me, you know, because it's wrestling. But I, I want to strike, I want to get experience striking. Whatever happens, happens though. Adam Borix defeated Eric Sanchez via unanimous decision. Borix secured a victory via decision against Eric Sanchez on the prelims after a strong third round. The win for Borix was his second of 2020. Sanchez made for a good opponent for Borix, being active with his own striking combinations that matched Borix's pace for the first two rounds. The close fight went the way of Borix in the last round, as he was able to hurt Sanchez with punches and cause him to backtrack. Yeah, I felt I got it, but he's tough, man. <laughs> I felt I got it. it was like he was, he was hurt, so I went for armor and like it was clean. So I, uh, yeah, I don't know how I could finish. Johnny Evelyn defeated Taylor Johnson via unanimous decision. Evelyn remained undefeated defeating Taylor Johnson via decision after a strong showing of his wrestling and grappling ability. A large part of Evelyn's success in the fight came from controlling Johnson with consistent takedowns throughout all three rounds. Johnson's best moment came early in the second round, hurting Evelyn with a right hook that visibly wobbled him. Hey man, I think I'm one of the best guys in the world. Um, definitely in MMA, I think I'm going to be a contender and a world champion. Um, I think Ed Ruth's really good can't speak on his behalf, but I think I'm pretty damn good, man. Sabah Hamasi defeated Bobby Volker by a knockout flying knee. Hamasi dominated Bobby Volker with strikes on the prelims, ending the brutal showing with a flying knee in the second round. Volker got hurt frequently in the first round, being wobbled by leg kicks and even dropped by a head kick. Hamasi also connected with a large volume of his punches. The win was the third straight for Hamasi in Bellator. It's just something that I, I just react to things I see as I'm coming in, you know. Uh, he's being very aggressive, so it's waiting for him to come in so I can uh, flip that up. Jake Hager defeated Brandon Calton via split decision. AO wrestler Jake Hager had the toughest fight of his career to finish the prelims, defeating Brandon Calton via split decision after three rounds. The fight was mostly striking, as both fighters had moments where they seemingly hurt their opponent. Calton was able to hurt Hager late in the second round, wobbling him and knocking out his mouthpiece with a right hook. Fatigue became a big factor in the second half of the fight, slowing the fight down significantly. Needing scorecards to find a winner, the matchup was the longest in the pro careers of both fighters. Dalton Rosta defeated Ty Gwerter via unanimous decision. Rosta kicked off the main card with a win, being picked on scorecards after three rounds against Ty Gwerter. The fight kept Rosta undefeated as a pro. Rosta's best work was his ability to score takedowns and be the controlling fighter on the ground. The striking was close between the fighters throughout. Both fighters were returning after recent victories within Bellator. Rosta was successful in August, defeating Mark Gardner after a round of action. Um, I wish I would have got the finish. Uh, I wasn't expecting the easy fight or anything. Um, I was expecting to be tough, but I was expecting to finish it by the second round. Uh, I feel like I could have done that with a rear naked choke, but my arms got a little bit tired, a little pumped out, trying to control my bottom stuff. He's explosive, he's strong, so uh, some things I gotta work on. Henry Corrales defeated Brandon Gertz via split decision. Corrales snapped a two-fight skid in the co-main event, defeating Brandon Gertz via split decision. The close striking matchup produced wildly different scorecards, as both fighters took all three rounds on at least one judge's scorecard. Along with Corrales' success throughout the close battle on the feet, he was also able to quickly shut down takedown attempts from Gertz. Corrales lost his last two fights, albeit against big names within Bellator in Darien Caldwell and one Archuleta. Gertz had previously competed at lightweight with his last fight being a loss to Miles Jury in February. Ren's an animal. He's an man, you know. Uh, this, that's what the fans deserve, you know. And uh, especially coming off my last opponent, Juan Archuleta running like a little weenie. Bigard Musasi defeated Douglas Lima via unanimous decision to win vacant middleweight title. 
Gigard Musasi walked out of the cage at Bellator 250 on Thursday a two-time Bellator middleweight champion. Musasi outpointed, grappled, and jabbed his way to a unanimous decision victory over Bellator welterweight champion Douglas Lima. Originally scheduled to take place in May 2019 the fight was postponed five months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. With the victory over Lima, Musasi became the Bellator middleweight champion for the second time. Musasi has won nine of his past ten fights dating back to February 2016. His lone loss came via a majority decision to Rafael Lovato Jr. at Bellator 200 in June 2019. The loss snapped Musasi's eight-fight winning streak. In defeat, Lima's three-fight winning streak is snapped. Since 2012, Lima has only lost three times. Yeah, maybe I could have gone a little bit more for takedowns, but uh, I felt that this guy is determined, you know, he, he came to fight. So once I was seeing I was getting the upper hands in the round and I wasn't taking a lot of damage, I was scoring my points. So I cruised to the victory. Uh, so I, oh, you can always do better. Uh, not ha very happy with the performance, but uh, it's a win. I won all rounds against the prime welterweight champion.